We're doing a video on the HP G7 um, Chromebook, which is having a problem that's becoming quite familiar with us, um, where we get it and the person who hands it in says that it seems to still be switching on, but even though it switches on, when it comes on, you can see the logo if you look really closely, but but it, what it's doing is it's not actually fully illuminating the screen. Um, so what we've done is we've found a kind of solution for that and we don't understand exactly why. Um, we think it's just the age that after a couple of years of having these and using these, um, it starts having the same problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you quickly what our fix is for this, um, just so we can kind of share the idea. Basically as normal, um, we take the screws out the back, put them over here. Um, just remember that there's three screws that are longer. So you can quickly kind of eyeball them, I've taken them out. They go along the top, smaller ones go along the bottom. Don't stress about that. Right, um, and then all you do is you flick this over um, and you're taking a small flat screwdriver and all you do is pop it. So once it's popped, it should, when it comes out, just remember there's a cable that attaches the keyboard and the mouse. So keyboard and the mouse, okay, but what you can do is you can just leave it on and drop it down and it's fine. These models compared to the G5 that I've done videos in the past are slightly different layout but it has the same components, um, battery connection, keyboard connection and mouse or trackpad and then the screen connection is on the right now um, before the screen connection cable came in on the left. Same Wi-Fi card, same um, USB and things, they're just connected with a better ribbon cable because it's... Um, higher speed okay but what we're going to do is all we're going to do is we're going to try something and then we're going to go from here try and switch it on if this doesn't make the difference then I'm going to show you the next stage and then if that doesn't make the difference I'm going to show you the stage after that okay so all we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of tape off the top Th this is a kind of standard kind of tape that uh, this that they use to hold down a lot of looser connections and literally all I'm going to do, when I lift the plastic, and you might need to use the screwdriver to do this, hold it down, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect this. It's got, that? Yeah, it's got a second piece of film on it that holds it the other direction, and then I'm going to disconnect it, right? So it's fully disconnected. I'm just going to check that there's nothing on it. Um, some of the kids that hand in their Chromebooks to us, their Chromebook is filled with kind of things, food or dust or anything like that. And then now that I can check, just give it a quick blow and then put it back on, making sure that it's fully connected and clicked in at both ends. It almost does click and then push it down. Right, reconnect it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over without connect, reconnecting the keyboard. I'm going to just hold down the power cable and hope. No. So that's not worked. It's still quite dull. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go the other way, right? I'm going to leave this like this just now and I'm going to show you with this model I'll move the just move the camera a little bit um, this model taking the screen off isn't actually as simple as the other ones um, but it will be made easier slightly because of this so what you need to do is you need to have um, some sort of softer tool instead of a screwdriver and you need to just slide it along the top um, it's tougher because the these are glued down now rather than just being clicked in um, which makes it a little bit harder to get them off. I think this one, no this one is glued as well. Sometimes if these have been taken apart before they're a bit easier to get apart. I think this one might actually have been taken apart before but we'll see. And then the tough bit is actually around the bottom and this is where you need a bit of technique where you need to separate it with your finger or with a that's it done like that. But now, looking in, you can see the perfect angle. You need to then take your screwdriver and just make sure that the surface that's stuck is now separated.
from and that should be pretty close to being done yep. so then what we do is do it this way it'll pull it and then you might have to pop the end there we go you see that there you go um these have a separate section on them that if you try hard enough this bit will come off um, and if it's getting jammed then if you do now the big thing is that the screen isn't not working you can see it's working but what it's not doing is it's not displaying so somewhere we think in between the Chromebook and the screen isn't connected properly so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the connection out and put it back in again like I did on the motherboard side but now I'm going to do it on the screen side so I'm going to take this off here we go That's these two done and then take the third one out and the fourth one And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the screen and you'll see again this is the connection on the screen side um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just get underneath it sometimes it's just easier with your nail yep. then take your time with this because it's this side's got a cable that's quite easy to rip so you take this and then take it out then literally all I'm going to do again is make sure that there's nothing on it on either side which could be the problem and then I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing on the bit and I'm going to reconnect the monitor or the screen, not the monitor and put that on now what I'm going to do is I'm going to again try and switch it on That looked like it was there until I held the button down. It might be... There we go. Um, and so that shows you the... Oh, what's it doing now? Is it doing it? Yeah, it's booting. Um, what it might be is just that one of the ends has come disconnected and it just needs cleaned off or when you reconnect it, it just gives it that little bit different. If that hadn't worked, knowing that I've disconnected it on the motherboard side and then the screen side, what I would have then done is I just would have power washed it and put it back on our network, put in the details and then tried it again. And sometimes because if kids have done something with an app that plays around with the brightness of the colours, um, it does do certain things to like the settings of the Chromebook and power washing it would be the last step. But you can see from that that the dull um, effect actually went away once I'd reconnected the board side and the, the, monitor, uh, the screen side. And I'm guessing this time it was the screen side that wasn't connected fully from just being moved around. Okay, hope that helps. Um, and thanks very much.